Okay. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. We can Friday evening that he has given us to allow us to come together one more time to assemble ourselves mm -hmm. together on this virtual meeting called Zoom to worship him in the place together. Can you all just do me a favor and take yourselves off of mute and give God a great big hand clap of praise because he's worthy of all the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Keep us in all the ways that He blesses us, in all the ways that He watches over us, the danger seen and unseen. So we just thank and praise God. We're going to go ahead and get started with the service. We're not going to keep you on tonight. I am going to start with devotion, and then after that, I will introduce the, the worship leader and we shall. Go forward in the service. I don't mean no harm, but somebody can. I love you, Lord. And I live my voice. To worship you, oh, my soul. Rejoice. Take joy, my King, in what you hear. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. I love you, Lord. And I live my voice to worship you, oh, my soul. Rejoice, take joy, my King. In what you hear, and let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. I worship you, oh my tea God, there is none like you. I worship you, who oh, Prince of Peace. Cause that is what I long to do. I give you praise. For you are my righteousness. And I would worship you, oh my God, there is none like you, there is none like you, hallelujah, no one else can touch my Heart like you do. I can search throughout eternity, Lord, and I'll find there is none. Hallelujah. 
There is none. There is none like Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus, there is something about that name. Master, Savior, Jesus, like a fragrance. After the rain, King had kingdoms, they will all pass away, but there's something, yes, there's something. But there's something. Yes, there is. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we worship you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you. Oh, yes, God. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ah, you're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Mm, 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 mm. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We praise you. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful Savior. Thank you, Jesus. My God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, because Thank you, Jesus. there's something, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. There's Thank you, Jesus. There's something, Jesus, mm, Jesus. But there's something Jesus, about that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You're worthy, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes. 
sweetest name I know. Next, I'm going to introduce our worship leader. She is somebody I have known all of my life. We are glued to the hip like twins. She is somebody I love and I trust dearly and wholeheartedly. I have watched God move in an amazing way in her life over the past few months alone. And I am just in awe of what God is doing in and through her. And I just thank and praise God for who she is in my life. She's always been in my life. She's always been my right hand. She's always had my back. So I truly thank and praise God for none other than my sister. I would like to introduce this and present to others, none other than Sister Dawn Ross. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for that wonderful introduction. Thank you. And what a beautiful voice. Those selections were just what we needed to um, hear to set the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I don't know what y'all came to do, but I came to praise the Lord on this evening. I came to lift you up. I came to clap my hands and stop my feet. Yes. Amen, amen. So let's go ahead and get started with our program. Next, we will have prayer by Reverend Ruthie West. Amen. Is it on mute? Or is it mute? Is it mute? You're unmuted, go ahead, you're, you're good. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we come before your presence tonight. Lord, we come thanking you, we come praising you. Lord, we come giving you all the glory. Father, if there's anything any of us done, or if we thought the wrong way, Lord God, we ask for forgiveness in the name of Jesus. We just clear the air, Lord God. We bind the hand of the enemy tonight, Father, in the name of Jesus. We come against the works of the enemy, oh God. We cancel every assignment of the enemy tonight. And God, we thank you, oh God. And we welcome you into this Zoom tonight, into this revival tonight, oh God. Asking you, oh God, that you will revive souls tonight, oh God. Revive your people, oh God. Unstop deaf ears that we can hear what your spirit is saying to our spirits tonight, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, oh God, for, for Reverend Robin, oh God, for Pastor Robin, oh God, for hosting. In this revival, oh God, I'm asking that you will begin to pour into our spirit, oh God. I'm asking you, oh God, that you will cover each and every one of us in your blood, oh God, tonight. In the name of Jesus, I'm asking you, oh God, that you will pour out a fresh anointing, oh God, tonight in the name of Jesus. I ask that all flesh be crucified, that you will be glorified tonight. In the mighty matchless name of Jesus, I'm asking that the Holy Spirit will come in and have its divine way yes. and that his perfect will will be done in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm asking that you will move, oh God, according to the needs of your people, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm asking, oh God, that there anyone listening, oh God, tonight that don't know you as Lord and Savior, oh God, that they will want to get to know you tonight yes. in the mighty matchless Hallelujah. name of Jesus. Thank and you, God, Jesus. if there's someone that needs to be healed, that they will hear the word of God that's already Thank anointed. You, Lord. And that they will grab their healing, oh God. If they need to be delivered, they will grab Thank their Jesus. deliverance. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. If they need restoration, oh God, they will grab a hold of restoration. Yes, God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank God, you, I Lord. thank you tonight, oh God. You, in God. the name of Jesus. And God, cause your people, even though we're on Zoom, that they will worship and praise you, yes, oh God. Jesus. Yes, and that Jesus. they will come into your fellowship, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And God, we thank you tonight. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. We're still in church, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. And we still can give you the praise. Yes, we can. In the Jesus. name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And Lord, I thank you tonight. And Father, we ask all these things in your precious son, thank Jesus. You, God. 
Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The presence of the Lord is here. Because I can feel him in the atmosphere. Yes, after that hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Next, we are going to have our scripture you, reading by my niece, Sister Brianna uh, Ross. The reading will be coming from 2 Timothy chapter 4. 16 through 18 in case you want to follow along. Amen. Amen. Good evening, everybody. At first, my at first my answer, no man stood with me, but all men forsook me. I pray God that it may not be laid to their charge. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, that by me the preaching might be fully known, and that all the Gentiles might hear. And I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 Thank you for that, Sister Brianna. Thank you for that, Sister Brianna. Okay, we're going to move right along with our program. And next, we are going to have our welcome address. By our cousin, the first cousin way up in California, Mother Louise Major. Praise God, everyone. So glad and so good to see you one more time again. Yeah. If this is your first time ever on this Zoom meeting, you're already at home, so I hope you got your shoes off. <laughs> Unless you're going to kick them off when the Holy Spirit hits you. But I just want to encourage you to keep on coming on this Zoom call. Whenever they have a Zoom meeting, be here. For those of you that are participants that have been here from the beginning, I applaud you for being obedient to God's will and to help his worker in the vineyard. So if this is not your first time or this you've been here 15 times, it don't matter. Have a good time in the Lord. Amen. Amen. So we welcome you and we thank you for participating and hope to see you again. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. What a nice warm welcoming that was. Uh, now, may we have a response from any of the guests? Anyone care to respond to the warm welcome, welcoming? Well, I am family, but I am a guest to your church. Uh, so I thank you for that warm welcome, Cousin Louise. And um, I bring you greetings from Grace and Mercy Family Ministries by way of Portland, Connecticut. Just truly glad I was able to, to get in and uh, enjoy this service with you all this evening. So I thank you for the welcome in which it was given. Amen. 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 Thank you for that response, Minister Andrea Sagetti. Thank you. Okay, next we are going to have a musical selection by co-pastor Mikeisha Watson. Amen. I'm excited about that. <laughs> Amen. She's coming. Yeah, I think she's coming to Macy's. Macy's um, because he got up. Mm -hmm. Great. 
grateful for the things that you have done. I'm so grateful for the victories we won. I could go on and on and on about your words because I'm grateful, grateful, grateful just to praise you, Lord. Flowing from my heart All the issues of my heart Is gratefulness Hallelujah, hallelujah Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. 
Come and give you grateful on tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, Jesus. You know, man, he is grateful. He yes, is he so is. grateful. Praise God. Hey, After all that we have God. been through, hallelujah. Last year was so crazy for us, but we're still here. Yes. Hallelujah. Because hallelujah. of God, we give him the glory for his gratefulness on tonight. I come before you to introduce a wonderful man on tonight. This man can preach his socks off. Many of you know you've heard him. If you haven't heard him, you are in for a treat on tonight. Praise God. I, will, I love this man. He's awesome. And I'm just grateful for him on tonight. I ask to, I'm just asking the Holy Spirit to use him for his glory. I present to you all my wonderful husband, the Reverend Macy Watson Jr. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. He's worthy to be praised. Glory to God. I thank you for the invitation, Pastor. Uh, Robin, amen. I know there's a lot of preachers in Connecticut and all over, but I thank you for thinking of me, amen. And I gotta take it lightly. Bless you, God. To God, God for the glory. First, giving honor to God who's not only the head of my life, but who is my life, amen. To again, Pastor Robin, to all the clergy and everyone in their respective places. Amen. God is truly good. Amen. This has been a trying week for some of us. Amen. For all. Amen. We've been going through some things and the devil, the devil's been trying to give us his best shot. But how many of you came out to give God your best praise? You came on here tonight to give God your best praise in spite of the every thing that the enemy tried to do everything that the enemy tried to throw at you oh come on and give god praise i thought this was revival come on and praise him you can unmute yourself you can join in just act like we are in the four walls of the church even though we're in our homes our living rooms and everywhere god has been too good for us to keep our mouth shut, for us to, for us to keep our praise locked down. Yes. But how many of you came to give God some praise on Hallelujah. tonight? Hallelujah! You came on here tonight to give God some praise. Hallelujah! I told them I had to preach in Bloomfield a couple of weeks ago, and I told them they call me shouting down wherever I go, amen? Because I'll put a praise on it and I'll shout now amen. and later, amen? If y'all remember that, can be now and later. I'll praise them now and later, amen? amen. He's been so good. He's been so kind. He's been so gracious. Yes, he has. And for that alone, we owe a great God. So oh, great yes. praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you, honey, for that wonderful introduction, co-pastor. Amen. God is doing a great work in you. How many grateful people on the, on here tonight? Amen. God is truly good. Hallelujah. This is quite different for me, Zoom, I, I, you know, but preaching on Zoom, but amen. God is still good. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm not going to bother your attention too long on tonight. Amen. But how many know that there is a word from the Lord? There is a word from the Lord. I done told y'all, y'all ain't got to stay on mute. Y'all can talk back to me. Amen. Praise the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. I will be coming from the book of Mark on tonight. I believe the theme is his presence, his purpose, and his power. Mm -hmm. I will be coming from the book of Mark on tonight. Amen. Mark, the fifth chapter, the 25th and through the 34th uh, verses. And it reads as this. And a certain woman who had an issue of blood 12 years and had suffered many things of many positions 
and she spent all that she had and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, if I could make touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned uh, him about in the press and said, who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, thou seest the multitude thrown in thee and saying, thou who touched me? And when he looked round about to see her that had done this thing, but this woman fearing and trembling, knowing that was was done in, uh, in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. Amen. That is the word of the Lord. And also, I also like to always read the message Bible. So uh, for some of us, we get a better understanding. Amen. A woman who had suffered a condition of hemorrhage and for 12 years, a long succession of physicians had treated her and treated her badly, taking all of her money and leaving her worse off than before had heard about Jesus, uh, she slipped in from behind and touched his robe. She was thinking to herself, if I can put a finger on his robe, uh, I can be well. Uh, the moment she did it, the flow of blood dried up. She f could feel the change and knew her plague was over. Uh-huh, and done with. At the same moment, Jesus felt energy discharging from him. He turned around to the crowd and asked, who touched my robe? His disciples said, what are you talking about? With this crowd pushing and jostling, you were asking who touched me? Dozens had touched you. Huh? But he went on and asked and looking around to see who had done it. Huh? The woman knowing what had happened, knowing she was the one, stepped up in fear and trembling, knelt before him and gave him the whole story. Jesus said to her, daughter, you took a risk of faith and now you're healed and whole. Live well, live blessed, be healed of thy plague. This is the word of the Lord. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Oh, God, I pray right now that I decrease and that you increase. Oh, God, now let the words of thy mouth and the meditation of thy heart be acceptable in thy sight. My Lord and my Redeemer. Oh, God, we thank you on tonight. God, I ask that right now that you begin to do. Uh, in this revival, somebody came on tonight needing to be revived. Uh, oh, God, do CPR right now on our hearts, oh, God. Do it right now. Do CPR right now. Change us, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, God, shift the atmosphere on here tonight, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Have your way, oh, God, on tonight, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. And we give your name all the glory, the honor, and thy praise. It is in your name and your name alone we pray. Amen. If I can use for a subject just for uh, tonight for a few minutes, don't give up. Don't give up. Uh-huh. You shall live and not die. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. Don't give up. Hallelujah. As I shine the as I shine the sermonic high beams on these verses, 
they let us know that the gospel often speaks of the sick, touching Jesus, or Jesus touching the sick. It was the contact, it was the contact and the presence of Jesus that mattered. His touch was, his touch has healing power. I wish I had somebody say power, uh -huh, his healing power, because he sympathizes with our weaknesses uh, and is the source of life and grace. Our responsibility in seeking healing uh -huh, is to draw near and to connect or reconnect to Jesus and to live in his presence. Uh, somebody saw to say his presence. Uh -huh. His presence, now, yes. This particular woman uh -huh, was not sick 12 seconds. She was not sick 12 minutes or my, my, 12 my. hours, 12 days, not even 12 months, uh, but she was sick for 12 long years. 12 long years. Uh-huh. I can't stand to be sick for 12 seconds, never mind 12 years. Can I get a witness? Amen. Uh -huh. Just like this woman, somebody on this Zoom call tonight may be dealing or may be sick, and it may not be physical, but emotionally, Jesus, mentally, Jesus. And spiritually. Mm -hmm. But I come to tell you, don't give up. Hallelujah. As I get back to the text, this particular woman had an issue of blood huh? and was considered, uh huh, and was considered to be unclean, smelly, stink. If, if she had children, she probably had to give them up. If she was married, she probably had to get a divorce or divorce her husband. This woman spent all that she had in the physicians did all that they could, but nothing worked. Uh, this woman, this woman could have given up. She could have thrown in the towel. She could have thrown in the towel. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But, my God, like many of us on here tonight, that may be dealing with low self-esteem, mm -hmm. depression, mm -hmm. relationship problems, family problems, financial issues, mm -hmm. problems in school and work, etc., that seem so unbearable. Mm -hmm. This woman went to some of the best doctors. Y'all know some of the best doctors, uh-huh. Y'all know some like Dr. Phil or Dr. Oz, but even they couldn't help this woman. Mm. Uh -huh. She tried some of the best of the best, but it still did no good. Uh-huh, you tried everything else, uh-huh, like many of us have tried everything else. Mm hmm Uh-huh. You tried relationships that ended in pain. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. You tried friendships uh, that ended, some of them ended in pain. Uh, you tried money. You tried drugs. You tried medications. Uh-huh. Let me be real and transparent. Some of you tried sex. Some of you tried marijuana. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Some of you tried uh, uh, some folks even try to be somebody they're not, etc. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But why not? Uh -huh. But when everything else fails, uh -huh, why not try Jesus? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's just like trying to connect a device to Wi-Fi. Uh -huh. If many of you know about Wi-Fi, there are many uh -huh. There are many different types of networks out there, but the device can the, the device can't function properly on those weak connections. Uh -huh. It must be connected to the strongest connection so that it can function as it was designed to. I start by here tonight, greater love to 
encourage somebody and let you know uh, you shall live and not die and Hallelujah. you shall not give up. Uh huh. I just put the popcorn in the microwave and it's going to pop, 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 pop off in a few minutes. Uh huh. Y'all stay with me. Uh huh. As I get back to this particular woman, uh, all she has is a voice. All she has is a voice inside of her that gives her two choices. That either you lay here and die, Jesus, Jesus. die in your mess, die in your problem, die with your issues, die with your low self esteem, just die. Or you get up and you move, move into your destiny, move into a place where God will have you to be. Yes. This particular woman had, uh, had to make a 911 decision. I had to make, uh, she had to make a 911 decision. Uh, she said, I can't stay here and die. Uh, uh -huh, I can't stay here. I can't stay here and die. I know that God has a purpose. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, and a plan for me. I can't lay here and die. Uh, I got to make my way to this miracle worker named Jesus. If I can only get in his presence, somebody ought to shout his presence. Uh -huh. Because in his presence, uh -huh, there is liberty. In his presence, uh, there is unspeakable joy. Uh -huh. Somebody ought to shout in his presence. In his presence. <laughs> When, when, when the woman heard her, uh, when she got the text message on a phone call, uh, even the email about Jesus, uh-huh, uh-huh, it took an unscheduled meeting where she found a scheduled miracle. Mm. Oh, somebody will get that tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> An unscheduled meeting for a scheduled miracle. Mm -hmm. And the Bible declares she slipped in from behind. Uh, the woman with the issue made her way through the crowds. Probably smelling like expired milk, stink socks, and onions mixed mm. together. Old bloody clothes uh, mm. didn't have everything intact, jacked up from the floor up. Uh huh. Like R and B singer Monica would say, uh huh. It's just one of them days. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Ooh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Some of y'all been saved all your life. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> you know, but, uh huh. Maybe not. Let uh huh. But let me pause right there. I dropped this in my spirit while this woman was making her way through the crowd to get in his presence. Uh-huh. Can you picture how the folks in the crowd were looking at her? Okay, let me put it in this way, in the church arena. Whenever someone comes into the church that doesn't look like church folks think oh, yeah. they look, uh, they look at them crazy. They look at Jesus, them Jesus. funny while they're making their way to the altar to get Say it, preacher, life. say it. I'm on assignment tonight to bring some breaking news that you shall not give up. Huh? Hallelujah. Uh -huh. I want to let you know, huh? Uh-huh, that no matter how jacked up, tied up, and tangled up things may look in your life uh, right now, uh, if you got to crawl your way, uh, That's if right. you got to leap, if you Glory. got to jump, if you got to cry, if you got to pray, Jesus, Jesus. go away. Uh, don't let nobody or nothing stop you. Uh-huh, I know. They thought the last lie was going to destroy you. Huh? I know they thought the divorce was going to take you out. Huh? Mm. I know they thought that, uh, huh, that. I know they thought because they talked about you, huh? And there were rumors about you, huh? I, I know they thought it was going to be the end of you. 
uh -huh, from getting and trying to stop you from getting in his presence. Uh-huh. But she had to get into his presence to feel his power. To pursue his purpose for her life. And we got to do it for our lives too. Don't Amen. give up. Uh -huh. I come to tell you tonight, if you throw in the towel, God will throw it right back at you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because there's still more. Huh? And you still got more to do. Yes. You still got more to do, huh? Somebody, uh, the song I heard the other day, it says, I'm alive because there's more. Jesus. How many of you believe that today, huh? I'm alive because Hallelujah. there's more, uh-huh. Let me get back to the text and the Bible declares, uh-huh, uh-huh. The Bible declares the woman with the issue made her way through the crowds huh, and touched the hem of Jesus' garment. Huh, and immediately she was healed. Huh. Immediately her status changed. Huh. Immediately her situation changed. Huh. And the text says uh, that she knew that she was healed. Huh. Yes. It was by his power. Yes. Somebody shout his power. His power. power to heal the sick. Huh? Power to raise the dead. Huh? It was by his power that will cause huh, a Lord. prostitute to give her life to Jesus. Hallelujah. Huh? It was his power that can turn an alcoholic into a priest. Yes. Huh? It's by his power to turn a drug dealer into a deacon. Huh? It is by his power. Hey, yes. Uh -huh. We can live and make it through this pandemic. It's by his power. Yes. We can the victory. Huh? It's by his power. Huh? We can live, move, and have our being. Uh -huh. Somebody ought to shout up in here. Huh? Uh -huh. Don't give up. Uh -huh. Don't give up now. The Bible declares uh, that Jesus said to her daughter, you took the risk of faith. Huh? Now you're healed huh? and hold. Huh? Live well and live blessed. Huh? Preach. Be healed of thy plague. Huh? She knew that his purpose for her life was to live a blessed and well life. Huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. She couldn't lay there and God, she went from bleeding to blessed. Oh, somebody. Yes. Y'all said she went from bleeding to blessed. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. Uh -huh. For he knows the plans uh, he has for your life. Uh, God has a purpose and a plan for your life. Uh, this woman went and took her life back. Uh, uh, she said, if I can get in his presence, uh, Jesus, uh, Jesus. I, if I can touch the hem uh, of his garment, uh, I can get my life back. Uh, Oh, somebody don't hear me on here. Hallelujah. You shall be healed. You shall be the head and not the tail. Huh? You shall be above and not beneath. Huh? God is working on you to be the linger and not the bower. Huh? Oh, somebody don't hear me tonight. Oh, huh? yeah. Don't give up on your purpose. Huh? Uh -huh. Don't give up on your dreams. Huh? Don't give up on your children. Huh? Don't Ooh. give up huh? because of that issue. Huh? But remember the promises of God. Uh, yay and amen. Huh? Don't give up on going back to school. Huh? Do you see scholarships? Huh? Do you see college degrees? Huh? Do you see yourself being healed, delivered, and set free? Jesus. Huh? Uh -huh. Keep the faith. Huh? My God, I can preach. To, I feel like preaching this thing, huh? Preach, Watson, huh? I believe I will, huh? I said, I believe I will, huh? I said, I said, I said, I said, I believe I will, huh? Because on the other side of your trial is triumph, huh? Jesus. On the other 
grave, your pain is vain. Huh? On the other side of fear is freedom. Huh? On the other side of sadness is happiness. Huh? On the other side of your mourning is dancing. Huh? On the other side of hate is love. Huh? On the other side of your sickness is healing. Huh? On the other side of your silence is speaking. Um, on the other side of labor is reward. Um, on the other side of defeat is victory. Uh, oh, somebody gonna hear me up here tonight. Uh, don't give up. Uh, tell your haters. Uh, tell your haters. Uh, they're just motivators. Uh, tell your haters you thought uh, what you thought was the end of me. Uh, is only to be contained. Jesus. Uh, I'm coming soon uh, to a theater near you. Uh, I will not die, uh, but I shall live. Uh, I shall not give up, uh, but I shall. Uh, I said I shall keep the faith. Uh, uh -huh, yeah. Um, I'll keep the faith. Uh, uh-huh, because I got to run this race. Uh, yes. I got to stay in his presence. Because uh, uh, I know that in his presence, uh, his is power. Uh, and in his power, and in the power, uh, uh, after I'm healed, uh, I know. I say I know uh, that I got a purpose. Uh, yes. And he got a plan. Uh, if we just stay with him, uh, somebody ought to Shout up in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jones. Give up. Don't give up. Hallelujah. Don't give in. Jesus. I stop by here to tell you, don't give up on your dreams. Jesus. Don't give up on your hopes. Pursue your purpose. I come to tell you, if you can sing, hit that note. If you can dance through your one, two step. If you got a pink brush, you on a pink tongue. If you can play the piano, play it. If you can administrate, evaluate something. If you got a drum, you want to beat it. But whatever you do, I say whatever you do, don't give up. Don't give up. If you can do here, fry it, dye it, lay it, cut it, curl it, strain it, press it, comb it, dark soul it, glue it in, and weave it in. But whatever you do, do it until you're satisfied. Don't give up. Yes, whatever you do, keep the faith. And don't give up. Keep the faith. And don't give in. I see victory huh, in your life. Huh. Do you see what I see? Jesus, huh. Jesus. Huh. Do you see victory? Huh. Live your best life huh, and live a blessed life huh, because God has greater huh, in store for you. Huh. Yes, he does. Woo! Huh. I feel my help coming on. Jesus. Uh -huh. Give it to God. Uh -huh. Give it to God. Uh -huh. Whatever you've been struggling with, uh -huh. whatever you've been dealing with, uh -huh. mm. just give it to God. Uh -huh. Jesus, Jesus, Turn that Jesus. Let you loose uh -huh. and get into His presence. Uh -huh. In His presence, uh -huh. you will find peace. Uh -huh. You will find your joy. Uh -huh. Yes, you will. Woo! Don't give Hallelujah. up. Don't give up. Hallelujah. Stop allowing. Hallelujah. Stop allowing. Thank you, Jesus. Stop allowing your issues of your past to keep you hostage. Oh, somebody missed what I said. Huh? Jesus, Jesus. Stop allowing the issues of your past huh? to keep you held hostage. Amen. Oh, Jesus, God. Jesus. I'm a minister now. Jesus. Uh -huh. Stop allowing the issues of your past mm -hmm. to keep you hostage. That rape, mm. that molestation. Jesus. The drugs, the alcohol, everything. Uh -huh. Allow it, release it tonight. Jesus. 
Release it tonight. Jesus. Release it tonight. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, you Jesus. got to release it. Jesus. I know Jesus, it's Jesus. Many Jesus, of us choose Jesus. some painful things and painful mm. situations in life. But we got to get into his presence so that we can feel his healing power. So that we can continue to pursue his purpose for our life. I know it hurts to let stuff go. But I need y'all to hear me on tonight. I hear God saying, mm. some things are blocked because we're blocking them ourselves. Mm. I hear him saying that when you release that thing that's been holding you, Jesus, Jesus. when you release it, then I can release it. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, some of y'all just Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He said, when you release, I'll release. Mm. Yeah, it's painful. Jesus. Yeah, you had to cry in the midnight hour. Yes, yes. You didn't know how you were going to make it. You felt like giving up. You felt like throwing in the towel. You felt yourself like this woman. She was sick for 12 years, but some of you have been holding on to things for a long time. Mm -mm. But God is saying tonight, release it. Yes. Yes. Release that burden. Yes, Jesus. Release it. There's greater for your life. And when you release it, when he released something back into you, mm. Oh my God, my God. My God. Hey, Shakabashi. My God. Oh, I feel God working right now. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I feel Jesus. God working. Right hallelujah, now. hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let it go. Hallelujah. Let it Thank go. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You gotta let it go. Yes. Hallelujah. Let it go. Hallelujah. God has designed a great life. A blessed life for us. Yes. But we can't stay in our current state. We got to be like that woman and hear that voice that says, Get up and move. Thank you, Lord. God, I thank you. I know that you're going to release on tonight. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, Lord, I had to minister. I got on here. I thought I was late. I had to minister to somebody on today. Jesus. Just today. About something that they went through in their family. They're going through it now. Mm. But I told them to release that thing and give it to God. Release it. Hallelujah. And know that everything is going to be all right. Yes. Oh, I thought I had a hooper. I thought I was going to dance, but the Lord led me down another avenue. He said, Jesus, Jesus, see, some guy, see, I'm a praiser. So I said, Oh, I'm a praise tonight. But the Lord said, Somebody up here tonight needs to hear this song tonight. Mm. That they have got to get back into my presence. Mm. My, my, my. You may have straight away <laughs> give your life back to Christ on tonight. Get Jesus. in his presence. Get in his word. Oh, oh God, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I know they thought it was the end for you. <sighs> I know they thought it was the end. They pulled the plug. They said, I'm taking you off of life support. They thought you were going to go. They thought you were going to give up and die. They thought you were going to take your last breath. Oh, we got to take them off of life support. 
And you know, sometimes the haters and people come, they come, oh, we got the plan. Sometimes people plan the home going service before the person even takes the last breath. But God said this time, when if your haters come and they try to see you and they try to pull the plug on you, you shall breathe and you shall live and not mm. die. Mm. Tell them to cancel everything that they had ever plotted Jesus, against Jesus, you. Because I got something greater for you. There is purpose inside of you. My God, my God. Amen. My God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. So again, I say release him so that he can release. If you don't remember or take nothing else from this sermon on tonight, remember to get your breakthrough on tonight, to get yes. your deliverance, to be set free. When you release I used to work in the retail store earlier in my when I, when I was in high school, and every now and then we would do inventory. We would have to clean out and get rid of and mark down the old stuff so that we can make room for the new stuff. My God, my God. I want you to evaluate yourself and say, God, what do I need to get rid of? Mm. What do I need to release? So that you can release. Thank you, Lord. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. My God, my God. Family not mm. talking to one Jesus. another. It's time out for that. Mm. It's time out. People are arguing over five dollars. Come on, time Jesus, out for Jesus, that. Jesus, Jesus. Release it. I oftentimes, because I, I work in the school system, and I tell my students all the time, they say, oh, well, I, I don't like that. Why, why you don't like that person? Why? Oh, because they look at me all the day. They, 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 they. People are always going to do it. That's just how they are. Yes, it is. But release it and give it to God. You ain't got time to be like I tell my students, to be chirping with the chickens, because chickens don't fly, but you got to be an eagle and soul. Yes. My God, my God. Glory be to God. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Father, right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, God, I pray right now that whatever somebody on this Zoom revival call is going through on tonight, God. Thank you, Lord. That they begin to once again to tap into your presence. Thank you, Jesus. So that they can feel your power. Thank you, Lord. Uh -huh, so that you can reveal their purpose that you have for them, oh God. That God, when they release whatever's been holding them and keeping them captive, oh God, that you will release and pour into them something greater. Thank you, God. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Yeah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Release, release, release. Somebody's been contemplating committing suicide, but we bind up that spirit right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You shall live in our God. Hallelujah. As I said on tonight, don't give up. Don't give in. And don't throw in the towel. Thank you, Jesus. So, God, I thank you. Thank you, God. Oh, God, for showing up on tonight and showing out. And God, I thank you for having your way on tonight. Although I wanted to go another avenue, God, you said, no, you stay right there. Thank you, Jesus. So, God, I thank you for using me. Oh, God, I thank you now. Thank you, God. And we give your name all glory. Yes, we do, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, break every chain right now. Hey, right God, now, God, in the name oh, of Jesus. Oh, break every chain right Hallelujah. now. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We give your name. The glory. Yeah. The honor. Thank you. And the praise. Yes. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody could just unmute you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For praise for that word that just came. Hallelujah. So worthy. Did he not use his manservant in a mighty, powerful way? So I just truly thank and praise God for that word. Do not give up. Somebody needed to hear that word tonight. Do not give up. Whatever you do, don't give up. God will never give up on you. He said, I'm the one who started the work in you, and I'm never going to stop until Jesus Christ comes back. So whatever you do, don't give up on God. Man, will walk away. Man will fail you every time, but God never will. Somebody needed to hear that word. Amen. I truly Amen. believe that revival Amen. took place on tonight yes, in somebody's God. spirit. Rejuvenation Jesus. took place Hallelujah. tonight in somebody's spirit. Restoration took place tonight in somebody's spirit. And even if it was just a seed of restoration that was yes, Lord. God said he will send somebody along the water oh, yes, and God. he will give the increase. So we thank, thank you, you Jesus. God. What a wonderful word. God will yes, tell you yes. that word that went forth. And I just truly thank and praise God for the manservant, for his obedience, for God having his way. We can Feast off that word for a long, long time. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. No, no matter what nobody says about you, no matter how they look at you, no matter what their opinion of you, doesn't matter. Only the God's opinion of you matters. Only Amen. who God says you are matters. So we just thank and praise God. Glory to God. Pastor Nathan, I truly thank you from the bottom of my heart for that word and for allowing God to use you in such a mighty, mighty way. And I truly believe with all my heart that revival took place on tonight, that somebody's spirit is being revived even right now as we speak. Somebody has hope again that they can get back up and they can keep on pressing their way forward. Just like the woman with the issue of blood who pressed her way for 12 long years. And at that time, you know, when you had an issue of blood, you couldn't be around nobody. So like Reverend Macy, if she, she had kids, she would have had it for her kids. She had a husband, she couldn't be around her husband. So she was literally all alone and had exhausted all her expenses and literally had nowhere to go. But like he said, she had two choices. Either I lay here silent and die or I press my way and open my mouth and touch that hand. And that's exactly what she did. And that's exactly what God is saying to some of us on this line tonight. You may feel as though you are in a situation where you are literally dying. Lord, I can't break this thing. God, I don't know how to get rid of this thing. But God, you don't understand. I've been doing this thing for 20 years. I don't know how to shake it. But I dare you to be like the woman with the issue of blood and just press your way through the crowd and touch the hem of Jesus' garment. And I guarantee you, you'll be made whole. I guarantee you things will turn around. I guarantee you, you will find in his presence that he has power. And when, when you find his power, you can then find your purpose as we heard the pastor preach. So we just thank and praise God for that magnificent, wonderful word. I'm so excited about Sunday. I see Pastor William Spade on the line. He is our speaker for Sunday. I'm so excited about how God is going to end our revival. We had a beautiful time in the Lord on Wednesday night, and we had a beautiful time again tonight. And so I'm so excited about how the ending is going to happen on Sunday. I just want you all to keep my cousin and his wife in prayer. He reached out to me today early and let me know that that um, we were when we had revival Wednesday night. Afterwards, they found out that her oldest child was killed in a car accident, and so that was just, it. Just broke my heart to hear that. So let us all continue to lift them up in prayer. His name is um, Minister uh, Gary Kenny Ross. We call him Kenny, and his wife's name is um, 
evangelist to Kayla Ross so we can lift them in prayer. Like I said, she lost her oldest child in a car crash. Um, if there's anybody who'd like to say something to the speaker, I'm going to start with Pastor Spate. I would like you to unmute yourselves and, and, and go ahead and, and say whatever God lays on your heart to say to the speaker. Yes, praise God. We just give God glory and give God praise. Thank God again for the word of God, because we know that the word of God comes from a deep well. We can hear the source and saying the teaching where God has used this man of God to deliver this word, we truly glorify God. And we thank God again for you, for Pastor Mason, because we know that in the words that truly in the words that woman of the issue of blood, in the words that we come to that point of, in the road, that we have to know that either we're going to lay there and die, or we're going to get up and touch the hem of his garment. So we truly give God glory and we give God praise because he's worthy to be praised. We thank God again for the invite. We thank God again because we realize that God is in the, in the delivering business and we go through many things. And the scripture says that many of the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers us out of them all. So truly in the words, the woman of the issue, with the issue of blood is an example, but we got to live now in the presence to know that God is our deliverer. Be encouraged, Pastor Mason. Continue to preach the word. God Amen. bless you, Pastor Ross. Amen. God, Amen. God bless, bless you. you, Pastor Spade. Amen. Amen. I'm going to go uh, um, with the clergy first. I see um, Minister Darlene on. If you'll unmute yourself, there's something you'd like to say to Pastor Watson. Truly, I thank God for the man of God that spoke the wonderful word on this evening. Truly, my soul has been blessed. I chose to get up and press my way, and I thank God for my press and all that God has done in my life. I see great. I thank God for this line, this ministry, this revival. Truly, my soul is filled, and I glorify in God. So again, I thank you, man of God, for that wonderful word that you ministered to us to choose to get up and press our way in the time that when we feel we have no hope or we have no faith and we can't see our way through, but we know that God said, press your way towards that high mark in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. So I thank God for the press with the women with the issue of blood. Truly, I thank God for the word. Amen. 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 Minister Andresa. Hallelujah. 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 Giving honor to God on tonight and thanking God for the message on this evening. Don't give up. Don't give in. Press. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, you know the word was good when you can't stop rocking. I'm trying to stop rocking, but that word was good to me. <laughs> hey, Pastor Watson, thank you for allowing the Lord to use you on tonight. Hallelujah. It was some good, 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 good word. And I needed to hear it on tonight. I had to be reminded, don't give up. Don't give in. You got to press, baby. Why? Because it's time for you to release something so you can get to the other side. There's joy on the other side. There's peace on the other side. There's victory on the other side. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Yeah. All right. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Is there anybody else who would like to say something to Pastor Watson on this evening? Pastor Watson, I just want to say, I'm sitting here, and, and it's like I want to just keep on jumping and jumping and jumping. My soul is in soul. So happy, like that word just got to me, and it just blew me along. Jesus, Jesus. I just want to thank you for such a good word on tonight. I just want to thank you for such a good word on tonight. Thank you. Jesus, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Anybody else? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If there'll be nobody else, I'm going to ask um, Pastor Macy Watson if he'll go ahead and give us a benediction. Just before he gives us the benediction, I wanted to point out, I, I was listening to the news on my birthday, April 19th. And as of April 19th, 2021, there have been 150 mass shootings. 150 mass shootings. It's really something to think about. Now is the time 
you know, to really, really consider your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Now is really the time. It's really no longer about playing church or playing games or, you know, showing up on Sunday or at Bible study thinking that's that's a get out of hell free card. Truly, we, we truly need to um, really re- evaluate why we're in this thing and why we're doing this thing. And if we, we have the right reasons and, and the right motives, we cannot continue to stay in a place of sin. We just can't do it. The, the two don't mix. God is so holy that when I enter into his presence, things have to fall off me because he's, he's too holy. So if I'm truly in God's presence, I will no longer remain the same. He said, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away. All things become new. And I found that the more I'm in his presence, presence the more i spend time with him uh, but those ways those habits those those thoughts those things those mixed up those things begin to fall off me you know and we got to be careful of of ha- being turned over to a reprobate mind god has been placing that in my spirit he teach it preach it teach it preach it teach it preach it a reprobate mind that is a scary place to be when you say God is my savior, you say God is my Lord, but yet you continue to go back to your sin like a dog returning to his vomit. Saints of God, God is soon coming. It's not a cliche. I know we've been hearing it for years. And you know what I love about the saints of old is they always were in making preparation or in preparation of the Lord returning because they didn't know the day or the hour, but they took him at his word and they knew that he was coming back one day. And we got to be the same way. We have to be. The world will never know Jesus if we continue to act like this. The world will never know Jesus if we continue to do the things that they do. We continue to cuss and fuss and do all these things that displease God, but yet we say he is our savior. There's got to be a change that has to happen amongst God's people. And we have to be like that woman with the issue of blood. If you want change, you're going to have to go after that change. So I just wanted to leave that with you. 150 mass shootings as of April 19th. That's only four months into the year. And we've had God knows how many this week. It's really something to think about. It's like that Facebook status I saw with that long line of people said, we're all just waiting in line, waiting for our number to be called. And there's so much truth in that when you really think about it. But the only thing that's going to matter when you stand before him is what you did for Jesus Christ. What did you do with the knowledge? What did you do when you came into the understanding of who he was and what he did for you? So I want you to be blessed. I'm going to ask Minister Macy if he'll come forward and he'll uh, give us the benediction and dismiss us on this evening. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. God, we thank you on tonight. Before I go and give the benediction on tonight, I just want to say happy birthday to you, Pastor Robin. Amen. Amen. All right now, because uh, my birthday next week, so I know we, you know. <laughs> All right now. <laughs> April, come on here. April. Amen. Amen. I think I put a post up a couple of weeks back and I said, well, when April 1st rolled in, I said, it's the best month of the year. <laughs> I know some people <laughs> disagree. I know April is the best month. Yes, of it the is. Year. Yes, it Amen. is. Amen. Amen. But to God be the glory. How many know that laughter is good for the soul? Yeah. Amen. So. Again, I want to thank you for the invitation, greater love, amen, and Pastor Robin, amen, on this revival on tonight. I truly thank you. Again, I thank you. So let us pray. Oh, Father God, we thank you on tonight. We thank you, oh God, for the word. Don't give up. God, we thank you for the change that's getting ready to happen in our lives. 
a great change, a wonderful change. Oh, God. So, God, we thank you now. And when we give, and we give your name the glory, we give your name the honor, and we give your name the highest praise. So, Father, as we leave off of this Zoom revival call tonight, but never from your sight, oh God, we ask that you be with us, that you keep us, oh God, until we meet again, until we come together again in great fellowship. Now may the Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and may he give you peace. May he give you peace. Now, as we close, if, if you don't mind, uh, Pastor Robin, could we close in my type of church fashion? Yes, Is that all right? Can. Come on, and let's uh, put our hands together and sing for just a few minutes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Good night, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out to our second night of revival. I'm looking forward to Sunday for Pastor, Pastor William Spake to take us home on Sunday. Amen. I am so excited, and I invite you all to come back and join us on Sunday evening at 6 p.m. That'll be our normal uh, church time. Amen. And Pastor Macy, we will have you back again sometime in the future. So thank you so much, sir. All right. And thank you. And I want to give one to Pastor Faith as well. I'm sorry. I did not. Any other pastor here? God bless you, man of Pastor God. Pastor Spade, yeah. Amen. 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 God bless you all. God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless. <laughs> Hi, Amy. God bless everyone. Good night. Good night, Ab. Hi, Amy. You see Grandma? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.